What's up people, welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas and you're excited for New Year. And welcome back to me and my girlfriend's field slash garden, which in the near future, very soon, is gonna be an outrageous freestyle park of mountain bike jumps, BMX features, and this, part of a fairly early excuse for a pit bike track, which is made from the worst, stickiest December UK sticky mud. But today it's gonna get massively extended, big upgrades and a rethink. And the man for the job here, my friend Chubby. Hello. Chubby used to be a professional motocross rider, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I was. Before. Don't be modest, he was. He's a very, very, very talented motocross rider. He hasn't done a lot of pit biking, but what he does know is what makes a good motocross track. And we're ultimately making a small version of that with a pit bike track. So it's going to get a rethink today. We're going to extend it. So the current track goes along the hedge there, the double, a roller, a 180 berm up here into this really, really cool rut, which is just naturally formed. And then I was talking about going up and coming back. And a lot of people in the comments suggested that that's gonna get boring very quickly. And also, I've come to realize that this hedge is a very, very, very sharp and thorny. And I don't wanna end up like Harry Main's garden where I'm constantly hugging the hedge. So we're gonna venture out into the field. And instead of this rut behind me being 90 degrees, Chubby, you suggested to go 180, didn't you? Back along here, 180 again, back along, and then up there. More jumps, more straights, and that's what we're gonna to build today. And then later on, we're gonna ride it. The pit bike's ready to go. I'm excited for this. This is, this is phase one of the freestyle legendary facility, which you see before you. Let's do it. probably a power two hours on the tools. We've got loads done, we've widened the corners, built new features. Firstly, I feel extremely lucky, insanely lucky to have dug sand my whole life. Sand is easy work, this clay, this mud, if you dig clay or mud, you're a hero. This is tough, tough work. But, but, we've hit fresh ground, new earth. It's like a sick, sandy, clayey thing that I've never come across before. I'm hoping it's like, Leatherhead, Jimmy Pratt's trails, because then we can build insane trails here. We're gonna build good trails here, and I'm actually happy with hit clay. In the winter, it's a nightmare. In the summer, we're gonna have the best trails ever. Look at the progress. The turf edge on the inside of this corner was miles over. So first thing Chubby suggested, get rid of that, widen that, because you need to have a leg off on these motorbikes, don't you? You do, mate, yeah. The second thing Chubby said is, why are all the berms hard pack and like mountain bikes? And I said it's to carry speed, and he said, you have a motor, you literally have an engine. So apparently, is it true? Cutting them up. Yeah, that's how you make ruts, boy. So we've left the berms looking so, so unnatural from what I know. Prime, mate. Prime for motocross bikes. The jump's been enhanced. Check out the double. It's actually got a proper lip on it now. The landing's square and nice. It's all wider, it was too narrow. Loads of people in the comments said it was all too narrow. Chubby agreed. We did the same on the inside here. Opened it up by like at least three foot. So now when I'm going around this corner with my leg out, it's not gonna be obstructed. So we're gonna do very, very, very low rides around this. And then the latest masterpiece, which you saw from the time-lapse, a tabletop. So I think it's time to get the bike out because we can session this, practice this, get all the ruts in, and then we can ride that corner into a 180 
ride the next corner into a 180. These ruts only work building them with the bike, not with shovels. We've got the bike. Just need to put these in the ground to sort of make sure that we're going round something so that rut remains where it is. Should we put it like so you hug that one so we make good use of space? Yeah. Perfect. Send it. Look at my shoes. You actually get more of this dirt on your shoes than you can build with. That worked good. How good is the corner? See about the corners, so it's actually got more support than a mountain bike berm. These old tyres, eh? Honestly, when these ruts cut in, which they're already kind of doing, we're going to have such a track. Oh, we can live with that. That's quite good. That's going to be a rut soon, isn't it? Look at the takeoff. Perfect. It's going to be the same thing. This goes against everything mountain bike. We're creating ruts in well-shaped features. I need to jump that tabletop. You do. I've got the biggest berm ever. My problem is I've got no skills or fans. Go on then, boy. Set it on fire. Oh, damn, where's he going? in on that lid. Go on then, mate. This is part of the problem. Wet grass, wet muddy grass combined with no nobbles. Look at that tracksuit. Go on, mate. It's prime, mate. Show us. Show us. Have you ever ridden a pit bike track? Never a pit bike track. Have you I ever built a pit bike arm? track? Never. Alright, here we Built go. one jump, mate. This could be interesting. Just be careful on the wet grass. Oh, thanks, I'll Dad. Oh, it's gonna look sick when we've got jumps. Oh, he did the bush! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of slick, isn't it, boy? It's so slick. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Table. The table. <laughs> There's so much dirt flying. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, what happened? 
open there. <laughs> Look at A, how good is this? But B, how mental is that after like five runs? Look at that. It's so addictive. You think you're going to do two runs and swap over. And you have to do ten. You have to do ten. That was it. That was money. <laughs> How cool is it? Gnarly. It's actually sick. It's hard, isn't it? It's difficult. It's very hard. It's very slippery. I think it's all because of the tyres. They've got nothing. If you miss that right there, <laughs> absolutely right off. You're written off. You're... Talking of rats, look at this one. How can that happen with such a little motorbike? That's what you need to look at. <laughs> oh look at the God. size of it. <laughs> look. I kind of feel bad because that took so long to shape, but it's also epic. It's like motocross. Wow. Thank you, Pete. What happens if you miss that rut? You go into the thorn bushes. You end up with uh, blood on your hands. <laughs> oh, you actually. No. Oh, blood, mate. That's your fresh tattoo. Track suit and the full face helmet swinging a rake around. Jubby! Hello! You're right, mate. Right. Just clearing out a bit of muck. Second rut though, it's not all in vain. This bit is the snottiest, but it's quite cool actually. It's just this berm I'm struggling. Once I've got this berm sussed, this tabletop is going to be legendary. And even this lip, look at the ruts. I'm so excited. This is a circuit. It's now an actual circuit for races. Just need that second bike to turn up, Chubby. Yeah, it's on its way. Racing. Yes. Any rut technique in corners? Stick your leg out. Am I, I'm doing that. cleanest one I've ever done. Do you agree? Clean? Pretty suave. I think Chubby's gonna do a bit better. I'm just king weapon. Needs more jumps. I'm happy with jumps. I just struggle with these turns. Show us what you got. Oh, that is the way. Yes! That looks so good. <laughs> Get the rut. Oh! All right. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that is how you do that turn. Do that again. Do that turn again. I'm going to study that clip. That is the way! Oh, dude, I missed that! You ran out of talent! No, you didn't, you just went way too fast. Look at that bike. Oh, man. Well, it's safe to say, 
when ridden properly, the track is epic. As soon as you get a millimetre off line, which I do on every straight, every berm and every feature, it's very, very difficult to save it, isn't it? Very hard. Do you think it's just because it's narrow or that's just pit bikes? No, I think it's just because it's still quite slippy, isn't it? Yeah. It's still new, so. The tyres are minging. Yeah, they're like slicks. Yeah. I think you can buy better tyres for these. Someone please suggest in the comments if you're a pit biker. What that, like that is not faring well. Nor is this. <laughs> but <laughs> we're being greedy in December, digging mud. Digging and riding mud. Fair play, dude. That was a masterclass. Ah. For someone who's never ridden a pit bike track, you've certainly got full access to the private one now. We've just had a solid 20 minute play on the whole track and this, <laughs> this is a tyre rut, this is a foot peg rut. There's now ruts for your foot pegs, which I'm sure is commonplace in the real world of moto, but is new, a new experience to me. This one is just a single rut now, <laughs> which is dreadful because both your foot pegs drag up there. We've got foot peg deep pit bike ruts, so your pegs fold in for that straight. Yeah, we'll give it Don't even talk to me about that berm, Chubby, you're the only person now that can do a full rut lap. Hang on, what is that? Is that the start? That's the electrics for the whole bike, isn't it? We broke it. I broke it, you didn't even get to do a final lap. No, we're not going to get that in, that needs to come off. So the electrics for the whole bike to allow the spark plugs to fire, the bike to work, that cable has snapped. It's probably good timing really, given that the ruts are all so deep they need repairing and we're going to dig that right hander into an actual proper berm to get loads of speed. And with all the exit speed, we're going to build something called a dragon's back up the hill, which is like an uphill triple roller takeoff. That is a motocross feature that Chubby's told me about, so we're definitely going to build one of them next. That whole area needs transforming with jumps going up the hill, down the hill. I need to fix my cable. I'm stoked to found clay. I'm stoked on the freestyle area that's going to be mega. We just need a running bike and more time and better days and more videos, it's gonna be epic. Cheers Chubby, cheers for your help, advice, sending it. Thank you guys, legends.